I'm Casey D. Gardner for Why Tell Me Why. 99% of the species that ever called Earth home are now extinct. That fact alone made me wonder, why do mass extinctions even happen? For the answer to this question, I turned to Dr. Thomas Brooks at Conservation International. My professional job is, is uh, the science of the conservation of life on Earth. First off, let's define what a mass extinction is. Extinction is a very special case of the interaction between births and deaths. Extinction is where the very last individual of a species dies. Extinction stops the possibility of further births for that species happening in the future. So why do they happen? We live on a dynamic and a dangerous planet. Our planet is um, dynamic for many reasons. Over the four and a half billion years of the history of the Earth, our, our, our planet has been, has been changing continually, um, driven by physics and mediated by, by geology and by, by astronomy, where uh, populations within a given species are able to, to adapt to those changes, then we have evolution. We have gradual, um, gradual change that eventually uh, results in the emergence of new species or multiple new species. Where populations of a species are not able to adapt to these dynamic changes underway through the um, course of our planet's history, extinction results. It all comes back to survival and the ability to adapt to a changing environment, kind of like now. Brooks says we're in the middle of the Earth's sixth mass extinction. The impact of people on life on Earth is approaching the level of a mass extinction in itself. The drivers of this human-caused mass extinction um, are primarily the destruction of natural habitats, the places where species live, along with a whole host of associated causes, including, um, including hunting, including the introduction of invasive species and diseases, and including the, the pollution of the atmosphere, which of course causes, uh, causes climate change and, and global warming. The current extinction can't be reversed, according to Brooks, but he does say we can slow down its effects through conservation efforts. And if we don't, he says 25% of the species on Earth will face extinction in the next 100 years. For more information on how to survive a mass extinction or to find out what Discovery's very own Larry O'Hanlon thinks really killed the dinosaurs, go to earth.discovery.com. For Discovery Channel, I'm Casey D. Gardner.